Named after the UPE military designation, the Prowler is a modernized weapon of the infamous Tavaran armored personnel carrier. Asperia's Astra engineers were given unmitigated access to study original versions of the ship recently discovered in the Cabal system to help meticulously reconstruct the vehicle. Now, the Prowler is the perfect unison of two cultures. The elegance and effectiveness of the Devaran war machine, combined with the reliability of modern human technology. The first Tavaran war was an intersystem conflict between the Tavaran and the United Planets of Earth, or UPE. The Tavaran declared war with humans in 2541, shortly after first contact. The Tavaran were defeated in 2546. The second Tavaran war lasted from 2603 to 2610. It began when Karath Thal, a Tavaran warlord, launched a campaign to take back the Tavaran homeworld, Jalan, also known as Elysium IV, from the UEE. Lacking the numbers and resources of the first Tavaran war, the Tavaran waged a protracted, guerrilla-based campaign over the next seven years. When it became clear to Karath Thal that the Tavaran were going to be defeated after the Battle of Centauri, he and his remaining forces removed the thermal shielding from their ships and dove into the atmosphere of Jalan. Their self-immolation prompted the Tavaran to cast off the culture that had failed them and fully assimilate into the UEE. Esperia was founded in 2873 by Jovi and Theo Ingstrom, brothers interested in preserving spacecraft building history. And boy did they with the problem. So how does it feel? Well, let's begin as you've experienced already in this video. Quantum travel complete. With how it sounds. and as revs go higher that I think CIG accomplished very well the integration of an idea of the alien in this case the Tavaran with human sensibilities the power of the quantum experience Landing gear down. and how that looks and feels can't be overlooked either But in terms of the shape of the, the vessel, um, others have talked about this before. Uh, it is the consummate 
uh, bird of prey when in flying mode and you know comes across as a drop ship with utility in VTOL and landing mode. Let's talk a little bit about those doors and the functionality of the Prowler as a dropship. makes the Prowler obvious and imposing in terms of imagining dozens of these dropships dropping hundreds of troops on a location to control any areas of the map or terrain. The stock weapons also look, sound, and feel great to use. And clearly, while not the same devastating impact that the Prowler had upon initial release, and CIG tends to do this to ultimately nerf spectacular concepts and initial insertion to weapons platforms. Still, the Prowler reveals itself to be devastating to any mid or small ship that crosses its path while it is about that dropship business. And the weapons feel truly solid while in this defense mode. Overall, the Prowler is among the top usable contenders for dropship purpose in the PU. But more to the point of these videos, it feels extremely good to use. We'll be looking at another dropship in detail from Anvil Aerospace next time.